Welcome to Dodgers Daily. Casey Porter here. So glad that you decided to tune in. Fans, we have a very special guest today. Right-handed reliever, big-time reliever. Bruce Dar Gratterall joins Dodgers Daily. I'm so excited about this, Bruce Dar. So, hey, first of all, great job last night. Got a chance to see you. Throw some video down. I thank you so much for joining. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, yeah. first of all, take us through the labor injury, how the rehab went, and how close maybe you are to rejoining the big club. I'm very close. Right now, I had to throw back to bat and maybe one more game, and I'm ready to go. Okay, very good. So the first thing I wanted to ask you, I'm a big fan of the celebration after you end an inning. That is okay. so cool. Can you take us through how that came about and why you do it? Uh, I'm doing it because, uh, first of all, I thank God, thank God all the time for yeah. every, every opportunity. And the second one for my brother, he passed away a couple years ago. So that's why I do that. So you're from Calabozo, am I saying that properly? Yeah, yep, yeah. Venezuela, nice. fantastic. Yes. Of course, you got Diego Cartaya here from Venezuela. That's a lot of Venezuelan guys in the Dodgers organization. It's a fantastic country for baseball. So take us through what your life was like growing up as a kid in Venezuela playing baseball. I mean, the life, uh, I'm gonna say like, thank God for that life when I kid. I enjoy a lot, I play a lot of baseball, and not just, you know, just trying to like be happy the, in that moment. And I mean, great, great, you know, great moments for me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So you had to go to the DSL and play there. Take us what it, it was like having to jump from Venezuela, going to an entirely different culture, all different people, guys from all different countries. Take us through what that experience was like. For I you. mean, that's a little bit like for us, a little bit difficult because we have to work hard no matter what. And then when we get here, we have to start like from zero, trying to working hard too. So I'd say like no matter what, but uh, you know, uh, we coming from like the like strong guy, mm -hmm. more like mental guy too. And then that's why we trying to like do the best in this job. Absolutely. Then you jump to the United States and I know it's every kid's dream in Venezuela to be a major leaguer, I'm sure. So what was that like when you finally got to the United States and then eventually became a major leaguer? Uh, like, I'm saying, like, started try, trying to, like, you know, stay strong. And uh, first of all, too, learning English because we love to communication with other guys. Uh, but yeah, that was, for me, was like great moment and dif difficult to like the process. But that's the, that's the baseball. Yeah, and you got introduced to the business side of baseball fairly early. You were traded with Luke Rayleigh in the Kent Maeda trade. Kent Maeda is a very popular Dodger. So yeah. take us through what that experience was like coming over here in that trade. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy to be here with the Dodgers. I mean, I feel like uh, family. And that's yeah. for me was like great moment, great experience to, to my first year here. So I'm so glad to be here. So you've seen the development in different systems and then you've also seen the recovery system through the labor measure you have. How much better is it with the Dodgers in terms of development and recovery and all that as far as the other clubs go? Uh, you know, here we have a lot of great guys in the training room. I mean, all the staff, great guys, trying to like, uh, working together for feel like uh, ready to go, feel like healthy too. So I'm so, I'm saying, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad to be here with the Dodgers. This, this is, I mean, I say this is another level, you know? Okay. 2020, the World Championship. You're a big part of that. Got to hear all about the big part you were of that championship and how cool that was for you. Oh man, that's, I think I never forgot that moment. Yeah. For me, that was the most like uh, happy moment, great moment. I mean, I don't have too much to say about that. Yeah. Just, just enjoying a lot that day too when uh, we won the World Series champion, and then. That was for me like beautiful, beautiful I mean, moments, yeah. you know. What's it like knowing that you were getting ready to join a club that's getting ready to go down the stretch that's likely to be favored to win another World Series? That has to be really motivating. Yeah, you know, that for uh, next year, like in 2021, we're trying to do the best, you know, but another team try prepared too for sure. win the postseason World Series. But, uh, you know, the Dodgers always like, and and the you know in the postseason we're trying to do the best trying to working hard trying to like go like in a like, good way for go to the world series so uh, and now for us for the Dodgers, we have more motivation for you know go to world series so not, that's why we we trying to work hard so you hit 97 last night what would you say you're maybe around 75 80 percent maybe 90 percent uh, on the mound? yeah choose uh, you know right now trying to like say it's strong strong my shorting my mind 
and then throwing the zone. I yes. mean, the velocity right now, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Just trying to like throw in the zone, yeah. Okay, man, the last question I want to ask for you, you have to take a lot of your time. Bruce Dark Gratterall, thank you so much for joining. You have an awesome message because all these international kids, it's such a big experience to come to the United States and eventually become a major leaguer. You actually got to do that, man. Yeah. So for all those young kids back in other countries in the world that want to become Bruce Dark Gratterall, what's your message to them? Uh, I think I'm going to say, like, working hard, no matter what, just continue. You know, bad day and good day, that's okay. That's the baseball. The baseball is hard if you don't work. If you work, the baseball is easy. And you have to love this sport, yeah. Folks get to come see you quite a bit? Oh, yep. yep. Really? Yeah. All right, very good. Bruce yeah. Dargratterall, thank you so much for joining Dodgers yeah. Daily. Thank you. I appreciate it for the opportunity.